Good evening, church. Welcome to your evening devotion for Thursday. I'm here in Koinonia Hall. I bet you recognize this place. Koinonia is the Greek word for fellowship. Another word that we can use in our English language is friendship. So this is our fellowship hall or our friendship hall. Boy, just take a look at the place, huh? You miss this place, don't you? Wouldn't it be good to just enjoy a cup of coffee here, say hi to Flo, and get a treat from Lisa or Sherry, or get some barbecue from Shane? Oh, Shane, we miss your barbecue. There are a lot of good times that have been had here in Koinonia Hall. A lot of good fellowship. It's a really important part of church life. In the early church, it was one of the four main things that people devoted their time to. We're going to hear a Bible lesson from the book of Acts on Sunday morning, and it's going to tell us the four things that the early church devoted themselves to. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to the fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to prayer. The apostles' teaching, well, they had the apostles with them, so they fed on the word of God that was spilling out of their mouths. They were anointed with the Holy Spirit to teach and guide the church, and so the church listened. They grew from that because the apostles were constantly pointing people to Jesus. And then the fellowship, the koinonia. This was not just sitting down for a cup of coffee, and it wasn't just sitting down for dinner, although they did those sorts of things, but it was, it was actually sharing life together joys and sorrows and the mundane stuff in between, just sharing life. And the church did that together. Then they had the breaking of bread. And again, that's not just sharing meal time, but the breaking of bread in that circumstance was probably the Lord's Supper, that they devoted themselves to that. And then finally, to prayer. Well, we have a lot that we can still devote ourselves to, even if we can't gather for fellowship here in Koinonia Hall. Even if we can't gather for the breaking of bread at the Lord's Supper, we still have the apostles' teaching. We still have prayer. We can devote ourselves to those things. And I want to give you a hint that even though you can't be here in Koinonia Hall, it doesn't mean you can't have Koinonia. When's the last time you called and checked in on a friend from church? When's the last time you just called for no good reason? Sent an email or a card or a letter? I just want to recommend to you that that's a thing you can do with your time right now. Check in on each other. Love on each other. It'll go a long way. And if you uh, think, oh, I don't know anybody that well, it's a great time to start. People will remember the fact that you checked in on them. just want to recommend that to you, church. So do that for one another. It's surprising how good that can be, how far that can go around. Let's pray together. Lord, we thank you for your church in all of its generations and how the early church, church had their devotion to the apostles' teaching and to the fellowship, to the breaking of bread and to prayer. Oh, well, that's actually been the things that we've been devoted to also. We ask that you will renew our devotion to these things. Bring us back here for fellowship in our Koinonia Hall. But Lord, don't let us wait until we get back here for it. Help us to express Koinonia or fellowship with each other even while we're away. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See, look, we devoted, devoted ourselves to the prayer. We're doing it, church. We're being church. Keep it up. Rest well.